I first heard about my diagnosis, I just blank. Total shock. I never expected it. Come on, yeah. I was diagnosed uh, when I was about six months pregnant with my fourth child, and I was a week shy of my 35th birthday. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was my routine mammogram. Uh, I went in for my mammogram, and um, a couple weeks later, they called me back, told me to come back to have a repeat mammogram. My doctor called me into our office October 12th, 2006, and told me that I had breast cancer. The feelings and emotions when I was diagnosed was complete fear. I mean, I think there was just no other way to describe it, a fear that I had never felt in my entire life. I kind of didn't want to believe that that would happen. And so when my sister just recently, when, you know, she had noted a lump and had a, um, had, you know, gone for a biopsy, I didn't want to believe that it was a possibility. and you know, tried to rationalize every possible reason that couldn't happen. You know, she wasn't old enough and, um, you know, we had no family history outside of my mother. It was awful, absolutely awful. I, I was so scared for my children, thinking I was going to die, essentially. She was so young and so healthy and ate well and exercised and did everything that I thought would have prevented her from, from developing cancer. So um, I was totally in disbelief. So, you know, I, you go up and down, it's like a roller coaster, you know, you, I would tell myself all the time, oh, I'm gonna be so positive, I'm gonna be a positive, but you know, I would be a liar if I didn't say there were times that I was sitting there and all of a sudden I just broke down and cried because it was like, wow, I have breast cancer. The biggest risk factor for having breast cancer is just being a woman, and the second biggest risk factor for getting breast cancer is getting older. When we look at breast cancer, we know that there are certain genetic causes, and so we know that there are certain families of a high risk. But the vast majority of breast cancers do not have a very strong family history or are not BRCA1 or 2 related. And at 37, I was diagnosed by doing everything that I was supposed to do. I stayed in shape, I ate properly, I exercised, went to him, you know, the mammograms, and still wasn't able to escape it. It's important for every woman to understand about breast health and how to look out for breast cancer and to try and get it detected early. We're seeing early detected cancers. Um, we can do less invasive treatments and so we have better outcomes at the end. I hope that women will, you know, understand that breast cancer, you know, can be treated in early stages and that they have to you know, you know your body best, more than anyone. It's our responsibility as health care givers to make women aware of where their risks are and what they need to be looking for in their breast health. But so it's responsibility on both parts, on both sides, but it's a shared responsibility. I'm aware enough to know and knowledgeable about breast cancer to know that many people survive this. The overwhelming majority of the people survive this. What is positive in breast cancer? Love, friendship, support, admiration, hope. Breast cancer is a lot different than it was several years ago and there is a much better chance of, of healing and survival for many years with it. There is a light at the end of the tunnel 